Hi, welcome to this video. I am going to answer today a question about Spur Social. I get a question from Sharon, no, Sarah, and I'm going to show you a few things. Um, the Spread Social Report will show you things like how many people unlike the page, how many people have a flow of likes come on the page, so you get to see a little bit of how it's going, especially if you're doing ads. You can see the page impressions um, by day. It will show you that it's been seen by how many and in total and so forth. So here you can see that four impressions per user. You're going to see what kind of posts are being seen the most. In my case, page posts are the one that get seen a lot more and then all the other ones and then you see if it's organic or paid or viral you'll see which days are the most popular so I get the most impressions on Mondays for some reason you'll see which countries you can see most impressions from here in Aruba and that makes sense because I have a lot of people from my island um, you also see how people are sharing your content so there's a bunch of stories created and how it's being shared so you can see that it's engaging. You can see which posts are being shared, mostly page posts, and the days of the week where things are being shared mostly. For me it's Friday, and which location, for me it's the U.S. It makes sense because most users are engaged are the U.S. clients, my other clients are just friends hanging out. <laughs> And you can see which uh, type of content is the most engaging. In my case, it's pictures. Last week it was videos, so it will change every week so you have a good idea of what you can use. You'll see your reach per post. And I have to say that compared to what I see on Facebook, this is way more motivating and more, and more detailed. My engagement is 10% per post. People are talking about it. The cost. So, on average, I have two people talking. It will also show you which posts have the most engagement. So, I have a post here that um, yesterday got really a lot of engagement, and here, this one too. So, I know what kind of content my people, my followers, enjoy and um, what causes more conversation. And so that's the part about the reporting. Um, there's quite a few more things that you can go in detail. You can also see Twitter report and you can see the group report. Um, I really like this one, this part here, because you can figure out what kind of content you're going to push better and do more with and turn into an ad, for example. And like that's here. This one was very, very, very uh, viral. It was a question, and I just asked him quite a few of you want to use like for life for free <laughs> so um, let me see this one's also very engaging it was about a diaper I sell this um, um, I use my page for everything in, in between <laughs> me everything in it everything else in between let me see so this goes on for quite a bit I'll show you Whoop. this dress is 28% so there you get to see what the engagement rate is per item. So it's pretty detailed in that aspect. You can probably you can export it. So it could be going to either a CSV or PDF. And I would say if you wanna like because customers they wanna be um, overloaded with too many details. Some do, some don't, but I would actually simplify the report highlights of the things that are really working that we want to work on, the things that are not working that we're going to do different. So that's um, basically part of what you can do. The second thing you were asking was if, um, if it's easy to manage uh, different accounts. Absolutely. Um, in Scratch Social, um, you can switch from um, user groups. So I have a few here that I manage as Spark Social on my account. They don't have like I don't they don't have their own Spark Social. So people that have their own Spark Social are logged in. But here I have one three and four of them. And to manage them, you go to settings and then this is settings. I think it's yeah, this is settings would be fine. Um, 
but we had seen how it's called decision for social purpose. What you get to see is you get to um, add all the accounts that all the profiles that are available and then connect or connect new ones. Like in my case here, let me make it small. As you can see, connect new ones, you're going to add it. And then you have all the different groups. You can create a new group, and then when you create a new group, you're going to create a new client account. Um, a few things that if you're sharing an account, if you log out uh, using one of these, anyone who logs in is going to be using the same one. So I have my VA. I have a VA that posts for me, and she, um, I shouldn't realize that I had um, left uh, a group up. So how does that she goes to the wrong profile for a few? <laughs> so we got to watch out for that. And here, the profiles, you can actually manage where they belong. So I go to choose one of my clients that I um, to do things. And if you want, you can connect more profiles and then the post will go to that one and go to that one. So um, it's really very easy. Another function I like about Sprout is social is Sprout too. The queue makes it that you can actually schedule on the go. Like for me, I get inspiration and I don't want to think about what time it is. So I have it on and my times are 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9. And I'll just queue next and it will pop it in right at the top of the hour. For me, that's important. I like to keep it that way. Um, and then I know that if I want to schedule a blog post or an invitation or something, I have 12 p.m. At 3 p.m., I have 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. that I can do manually, and 8 p.m. So I have five slots that are always for publishing scheduled. And scheduled posts uh, are, are pre scheduled on my week in advance. And how you do that is really easy. You come on here and you go compose. And you go compose, you choose which profiles it's going to. If you're going to add a picture, um, if it goes to a specific language, right now it's going to pop, that's okay. You can then select to either queue it or do schedule. And then you schedule, I, I like this way better than I did with this. I did not enjoy having to upload a whole um, Excel sheet and writing it up and stuff because every time I wouldn't know how long it is, if it was long enough. So I just pop in my message and uh, just, you know, it will tell me if it's too long or too short. And I'll just choose the time and then the dates. You see, green means it's been scheduled on, so I know what's been scheduled on it. And we can also use post by RSS, which I don't use, but you could. Um, so your Twitter attitude messages when posts are live. I don't do that because if I have to change something that I, um, I post it too early then I get really busy. So that's how I use it. So that's um you can also share it with users. I don't have two members because um people will help me just log in as me. Um and you get their account. So you could definitely use it to manage your accounts. It's one account for all. And you just add the groups as you go. I just have clients that have their own staff social because they also skip on some of their own posts, so they're more hands on. Um, and so I don't use a group because I need to know what they have posted and what time. So, well, that was it. I hope this helps. And yeah, I, I definitely recommend using Stripe Social uh, over any of the other ones uh, because of how easy it is to work with. Okay, if you have any questions, just post them. Bye.